Welcome back to Let's Play Halo 2 Anniversary. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I was just looking at this uh, roadblock here. I think I prefer the modern color scheme. <laughs> Sorry, Bungie. Um, I just find it interesting because it's very clearly something that was not just slapped here by the military. You know, it's a very uh, purposefully built into the into the road itself, so that they can block off all the roads and uh, prevent invaders from getting anywhere. And I find that quite clever. Especially given the way the municipal systems in uh, the city work. On that note... Shout out to Yornick, who wanted to know what's up with this thing that I called a reference to Halo 3 ODST. Well, without getting into any uh, plot specifics, uh, that game does take place in and around the city of New Mombasa, and it establishes that uh, the city's municipal systems are run by an AI called the Superintendent. Uh, the Super is a dumb AI, meaning that it's just a very, very advanced computer program, as opposed to Cortana, who is a smart AI and is truly self-aware. Uh, that doesn't mean it isn't very clever, though. The Super simul uh, simultaneously runs all of the traffic lights in the city, for example, as well as keeping an eye on the city through every single one of its surveillance cameras. Uh, rather than a 3D avatar, it represents itself with this uh, 2D cartoon face with just eyes, although it is surprisingly expressive when it changes its face. Just thought I would pass that information along. So the superintendent might not really be a person, but he's still very personable. I feel like you guys will like him when we uh, get there. I should also mention that uh, because he was, you know, created by and for the city, it probably won't surprise anyone familiar with municipal marketing that he has his own catchphrase. He, uh, likes to, uh, encourage people to keep it clean! Whoa. Concrete ass storage nook. Some unidentifiable debris in it. I guess they sweep in the, uh, remastered future. It's a lot darker in the, in the future, too. Jeez, I've been playing too much Elden Ring. My first thought was to sneak up and stab that guy. I could punch yeah. him if you weren't standing right there. There. How about him, boys? Yeah, assassinations. Oh boy, it's here. Where are the... Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been so good. That would have been choice. Uh, where is that sound coming from? Oh, hey, that happened. I didn't think that would do it in one. Damn it! I can't tell if I hit that guy or not. Yeah, okay, fine. See, I was convinced I wasn't uh, into this weapon. Because I was, uh, but I did become a fan of a mid-range shingle shot weapon that they introduced later in the series. So I just assumed it was the burst fire, but I don't know, it feels better than I remember. Oh, God damn it. 
Oh, you're one of them. Okay, fine. Let's see if I can... Come on, get out here. Ah, that's why he kept ducking right behind this thing. Down you go. I probably should have gone for a hijack with that one, but whatever. Or hang on. Oh, it's one of the alternate cannons. This is not a minigun turret. I'm trying to remember exactly what they call this. Oh, the truck is dead. No. Oh well. Well, it fires a single shot that uh, you really do not want to get hit by. It also makes a very loud clacking noise as it fires, if I remember correctly. Huh. Artistic. I don't know what it means. I actually thought that was a warthog from a great distance. I figure walking the perimeter is a good idea for figuring out where the fuck I meant to be. Is this is where I came out. I hope so, because otherwise this is going to take a very long time. Yes, good. Yeah, I definitely should have spared one of those ghosts. <laughs> okay. I think there was a ramp next to that uh, crashed warthog. The one that was really a warthog. Not bad even back then. I feel like they might have responded uh -huh, to the, uh... Ah! Yeah, that seems very helpful. Let's do that. Oh, fuck. Ah! Uh, you know what I need to do is this! Yes! Eat shit! My bike now. Oh, hey, fuck! Uh, no witness. Ah! God. Okay, okay. It is stupid to hold in one place and you're near a wraith, I admit that. Uh, oh, it doesn't loop around over there. Okay, I thought I was going to be able to come out in a more strategically advantageous position. Oh, fuck, I forgot the bazooka. That was a lot closer than I'm really comfortable with. Give me that. I gotta get up, gotta get up. Oh, God. Uh, sure. It was different than the other one. God damn it, I'm a mess. Okay, okay, that was a clusterfuck. 
I saw one of the Marines shooting a dead body and then saying, Roll over, I want it to be even. I, so I thought that was very funny. I wanted to show that. That's in between episodes. Hi there. Ow. Okay. This means war. I mean, yes, we were already at war, but, uh... Of yours, I only needed one of you. Ah, oh, god damn it! Move, move, move. Okay, thought that was gonna be that. Okay, that's cool, seeing the reflections like that. I don't know that that would have worked in 2004. I feel like they might have, like, listened to, uh, you know, the... all the criticism of, uh, the first anniversary edition. Selected or no, no, that's not the problem. Achievement unlocked. The guardians are coming. What the fuck does that mean? Get killed. Oh, get killed by the guardians. Uh, I know what that means, but I don't understand it. Every so often in Halo, you just die, and the game doesn't understand why, and it just says what uh, if it's in multiplayer, it attributes this death to the guardians. Huh. Just reminding myself of the other achievements I've earned so far in this one were. Looking for the ones without years on them. Ah, here we go. Uh, Demon. De Halo 2, complete any campaign level without dying. Okay. Nice. As well as achievements for Chips Dubbo, uh, activating the first two terminals, curious and inquisitive, and uh, doing the first two levels. Delicious brains, kill 100 FUD. I like that. All right, fine. I won't get fancy. I'll just blow that guy up. Oh, I was too far away to lock. That's why. I mean, if you insist. Thank you for moving me over here. Your services are no longer required. I'm going to take you down like Bush is still in office. Whoa! Yeah, these things do not... Oh, fuck! In my defense, usually only I'm the one who does that. Are you evil? You're evil. Cool. No longer alive, that's you. This isn't clean at all. Super is going to be pissed. I'm notice like I said in the first game, I noticed that a lot of these areas are just big cavernous walls in the original graphics. Which is not something I would have noticed at the time. Did you just... Oh, you did just bump into me. I to lead him, but he turns as fast as my reticle. Whoa. Fucking engine casing flew. 
flew off. If you're still in your go, shoot him. Jousting is like having a fighter plane duel at very low temp uh, very low temperatures, very low altitudes. I actually forgot I had to toggle back that time. Dude, I was sitting still. Oh, weird. Usually the signs look at least different. Because even in the, in the future, even the signs have to be computers. Don't mind me, I'm just looking around for terminal screens. You can really barely turn while you're boosting. There are a number of Marines trapped in that building. Concentrate on the rakes. They're the biggest threat. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, they couldn't do that before. Is that... No, it's the uh, regular uh, minigun turret. I was tempted to get on the gun and find out how good uh, they really are at... Oh, God! Yeah, the Covenant seem to prefer the Phantoms over the Spirits because they have way more guns. They just had the one turret before. Probably because their hulls were indestructible. Oh, you were gonna be splattered. What? Oh. There's a Heal. Marine command post in that building. We'll need to help them deal with that scarab. Oh, that building. I thought you meant this building. Oh, that's not even a door. It's just a road. Oh! I think they hit the dirt. We need to link up with those Marines, Chief. Head for their command post. Hell yeah! The hog, beauty, beast. It's untouchable. Uh, Devin M. Smith, Portland Boat Cop Review. <laughs> Drive responsibly. Oh, they didn't put it here in the original. But I'm glad they put a new uh, in, in any way, because then we get to enjoy the civilian hog. I mean, you know, when I'm behind the wheel of a warthog, I can barely drive in a straight line, so I'm not sure how good an idea it is. Citizen alert. Our glorious city is under attack by the Despicable Covenant Horde. Your defeat is inevitable. They will meet an horrible end. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ahem. One of them says, Citizen alert. Our glorious city is under attack by the Despicable Covenant Horde. Their defeat is inevitable. They will meet a horrible end at the hands of our brave forces who right now are fighting for your survival. Please do your part by reporting to the nearest evacuation zone. New Mombasa will prevail. Minister of Information David Dockmaster Dunn. The other one says, Citizen Alert! Youth of New Mombasa, your city needs you. Join your local Freedom Fighter Brigade today and send the dirty Covenant Zealots back to their homeworld. Our enemy is weak. They will only know defeat at our hands. We have the advantage, human heart and perseverance. 
Some things, the, something these filthy aliens will never have. New Mombasa will prevail. Secretary of Defense Paul Hufri, Hufi Russell. And I'd like to confirm before we uh, you know, unpause, that even when you're paused, the screens keep changing. <laughs> That's very silly. Oh, that is interesting. It was only meant to be the one message. I don't. I think that's messing up. I think it's supposed to be toggling between on and off. Well, like this. Like it's supposed to be doing that for just the youth message, but it's accidentally switching back and forth between two different messages. That's why it's too fast to, uh, to read. It's just supposed to be strobing. Oh yes, I did actually want to look at that into the Hannibal building. Everybody remember where we parked. Oh, he's talking with the Spartans uh, at this point in the... Uh... Actually, no, by this point they've done some of the novels that revealed that some of the other Spartan 2s survived. Sir, Corporal Perez, A Company, CP's this way. Roger the lieutenant that. got hit as soon as we dropped in. Who's in charge now, Corporal? Uh, Sergeant Banks, ma'am. He's up top. Come on, I'll show you. Just a moment. Vadimi's most recent and damaging blow to the UNSC was the fall of Reach. Oni has still not been able to fully determine how Vadimi located the planet, and once again, he caught us completely by surprise when his forces arrived in orbit and on the ground. Vadimi is responsible for over one billion total casualties and the loss of at least seven human planets. His forces have defeated all UNSC counterattacks at the cost of 123 fleet vessels and over 23,000 personnel. And now with Reach lost, Oni and UNSC strategic AI report a 0% confidence that the Navy can stop Batami through traditional means. In the opinion of this investigator, Batami is the most dangerous Covenant military asset on the field. It's common knowledge that the Covenant have a significant technological advantage over the UNSC, but are sometimes inflexible in their tactics. This is not the case for Batman. We cannot predict what he'll do next, but given time, we fear he will dismantle all remaining UNSC strongholds. This agent's recommendation, immediate termination. If humanity wants to survive this war, we cannot do it with Batman on the field. He's amazing at everything he does. He cannot be stopped, and he wins every fight he walks into. <sighs> Jesus Christ, he's the Covenant me. We need to have a talk with the commanding officer. But, uh, that will have to wait. I did see this blinking light here. Yeah, the computer isn't even here in the, old, in the original. And yes, to note, you cannot interact with them unless you are on the anniversary graphics. So, you know, keep that in mind if you, uh, you know, get the anniversary edition and want to, you know, run around in the original graphics. What is that guy carrying? Oh, fuck. Oh, he's carrying a turret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Sarge did in the first level, he runs to like a scripted location and puts down the turret when the uh, the shit hits the fan. I feel like he was meant to do that already. You know, since the shit has hit the fan and settled now. <laughs> three for three, though. I feel excellent about these terminals. Maybe this hit them less well. For now, though. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Halo 2 Anniversary. Earth still isn't safe. And until it is... Oh, that is interesting. And until it is... The 
Master Chief will not rest. Wish us luck, Burning Dog fans. We are going to need it. Later.